who he know who does it better than this I'm the boy you done get it I'm on top of the list trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish every day to me it's like a solar eclipse ah, ah. y'all said I feel geek welcome to my channel about to dive right into watch mojo top 20 I have my top 20 list of comic book movies let's see how close they are together <laughs> they're probably not as close my uh, my top 20 is divisive I'm probably going to put it in the description and you can share your top 22 we'll see where we differ if they vastly different I think that's a plus because it shows your individuality you ain't a sheep in the car of life <laughs> let me start it proper dive right in the genre doesn't get any better than this Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 20 comic book movies ever. For this list, we're looking at the greatest films ever made that were based on comic books or graphic novels, including both the superhero and non-superhero variety. We're limiting our picks to one okay. entry per film series, it's or in the case of My the MCU, list one entry per titular hero or team. Let's get busy. Maybe a quarter of it happened. Logan is up there. <laughs> Number 20, Sin City. This anthology oh. film, based on the Frank Miller graphic novel series of the same there. name, great, follows interrelated members of the criminal underworld in the fictional Basin City. Filmed primarily in black and white, but with selective use of color, Sin City is a highly stylized neo-noir crime movie populated by crooks, murderers, and gangs that you hate to love and love to hate. Come on, you son of a bitch. Damn, he's slick. Well, not for everyone, Sin City is an excellent adaptation of its source material. The gratuitous violence makes some scenes hard to stomach, but the grim yet engrossing storytelling and arresting visuals are sure to keep your eyes glued to the screen. Whatever you say. Number 19, Watchmen. Given that it's an adaptation of one of the most celebrated graphic novels of all time, no, Watchmen had a lot to live up to when it finally hit the big cut, screen no. in 2009. Hey, Shannon, leave me alone! Set in an alternate history of the 20th century, where costume vigilantes were real and involved in world events, Watchmen is mostly faithful to its source material. Though the few departures were understandably polarizing, actually pretty much everything about the film is polarizing, but that's Zack Snyder for you. Regardless of its shortcomings, the movie has gorgeous cinematography and many of the characters feel as if they've stepped right off the page. Even if it doesn't satisfy hardcore fans, I don't think it has any shortcomings. Watchmen remains a groundbreaking comic book adaptation. The most powerful thing in the universe is still just a puppet. We're all puppets, Lori. Number 18. Snowpiercer. No Based on the French graphic novel, Lynch Holmes Personnage, Snowpiercer to. is set after a climate engineering disaster leaves the world a frozen wasteland. With nowhere else to go, the world's last humans survive aboard a train that circles the globe. Precisely 74% of you shall die. The film follows the exploited and mistreated workers in the tail section as they rise up against the wealthy elite who live in luxury in the frontmost cars. Built better as a series. Snowpiercer combines engaging action and occasional horror elements with timeless commentary on inequality and does so using visuals as varied as each new car. Directed by Parasite director Bong Joon-ho, the film landed on many year-end lists. Bong Joon-ho has a thing about social class. You have to lead us. Number 17, Black Panther. The first Marvel Cinematic Universe movie on our list, Black Panther, kind of expanded forever. the world of the MCU in a major way. It follows a titular superhero and king of Wakanda as he navigates a coup and learns what it means to I think be king. this is it's about go to city higher on your like list, us. depending on your skin color. That's not harder. cap. Wakanda has the tools to liberate them all. Black Panther crafts a gorgeous and inventive land that feels fully fleshed out from the moment we see it. The technologically advanced African country of Wakanda is truly a pleasure to explore and easy to get lost in. The film also features a strong cast and a particularly compelling antagonist in Killmonger, who easily ranks among the MCU's best villains to date. True. Although Black Panther may have a few questionable CGI moments, it's still worthy of the hype. Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! Number 16, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. 
There aren't many female-led superhero films out there, but Wonder Especially, Woman is easily this is the another best movie. Here's hoping that it's joined on by many what more. Gender you are is higher on your list. I'm not saying it's not a fantastic movie, but it means more. Movie follows Amazon warrior and demigoddess <laughs> Diana, who after gender. meeting an American pilot and spy, leaves her island home of Themyscira to end World War One. Despite a somewhat divisive third act and disappointing lack of invisible jets, Wonder Woman is a fantastic movie. True. Can't wait for the sequel. stellar action and two very charming lead actors. It's full of heart and contains a powerful message on the costs of war. The No Man's Land scene in particular was highlighted as being among 2017's best cinematic moments. Number 15, Guardians Ooh. of the Galaxy. Quit smiling, you idiot. You're supposed to be a professional. An entertaining mixtape of a movie, Guardians of the Galaxy follows a disparate group of criminals and near-do-wells who, thrown together by circumstance, must work together to thwart the villainous Ronin, a Kree zealot who seeks an object of incredible power. Well known for its classic rock soundtrack and hilarious humor, Guardians of the Galaxy also Imagine has some James fantastic action come back and a surprising for the third amount one. of heart to God be found damn. from its lovable, roguish heroes. His people are completely literal. Metaphors are gonna go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. I've my kept are too fast. If you're looking for a comic book movie that's sure to put a smile on your face, you're hard pressed to find a better option than Guardians of the Galaxy. Companion, what were you retrieving? You're an imbecile. Number 14, Joker. Despite its title and the reputation of its central character, Joker is a surprisingly serious film. It depicts the life of a clown and aspiring comedian Arthur Fleck who struggles with severe mental illness. <laughs> The switch. Overwhelmed by the hand he's been dealt and the uncaring society in which he attempts to survive, his life spirals out of control before our very eyes. Although set in the 1980s, Joker is very much a film about contemporary societal concerns, from government cutbacks to the plight of the mentally ill. So no! smart. We need to talk! With its timely themes, gorgeous Todd cinematography, this, and a haunting Oscar-winning performance by Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix, Joker will stay with you long after you've watched it. Like a good joke. Or a bad one. One small thing. Could yeah. you introduce me as Joker? Can you introduce me as Joker? Number 13. Ooh. Death. This R rated superhero film follows the titular, irreverent, and self aware mercenary mutant on a quest for vengeance. His target, Ajax, Francis. the man responsible for disfiguring and, ironically, <sighs> giving him the abilities to make Wade Wilson such a lethal threat. Ringing any bells? No. How about now? Deadpool may follow plenty of the typical superhero beats, but it does so with a ton of tongue-in-cheek humor and over-the-top violence. The film helped take comic book movies to places more mature, and quite often immature, than they had previously been. Uh, True. About, uh, Chris Pine well Pine? said. Okay. Merry Christmas. It changed the genre by generating greater interest in R-rated superhero movies, and did so with the subtlety of Deadpool's hand on Colossus's Metal Privates. Dad? Number 12, X2, X-Men United. There are many great films in the X-Men franchise that, that we were tempted to discuss. The excellent X-Men Days of Future Past being a top contender. But for us, the high water mark of the main series is X2, X-Men United. You see, Logan. If you accept the franchise the film for what follows it was, the X-Men as they do battle with a secret government agency with ones. sinister <laughs> plans for mutants, forcing for them sure. to team up with their former foes to protect their kind. The franchise's frequent metaphor of mutants as a marginalized group has rarely been better executed than in this film. And the many action sequences remain memorable and exciting to this day. Oh. You blew yourself up. Number 11, Batman. As tempting as it was to include this film's sequel, Batman Returns, many would argue that director Tim Burton went a little too Tim Burton-y with that one to top its predecessor. By contrast, 1989's Batman helped shape the modern superhero movie as we know it today. It's so nice. It's in the word, 
so nicely <laughs> Not into only that was scene. it among the first successful superhero origin stories, but it also highlighted the role that heroes and villains have in shaping each other, with both the Joker and Batman causing conflict between them through their actions. <laughs> Featuring great performances all around and just enough of its director's trademark the, whimsical darkness, the Batman is an absolute classic. Hopefully the soundtrack played. But they don't want to get copyright, but they probably are. Either way. Number 10. V for Vendetta. This dystopian movie is set in a fascist version of Great Britain, ruled by the Norse Fire Party through fear and oppression. Seen it. The film follows a young woman named Eve. Enjoyed it, yeah. I haven't watched it in so long, though, so I can't only as comment on it. pulled into his revolutionary efforts. Remember, remember. Probably should rewatch it soon. The gunpowder, treason, and plot. Having been subjected to horrific experiments by Norse Fire himself, V seeks to destroy the regime and inspire widespread revolt. Ooh. V for Vendetta may not have the subtlest commentary, but it's still an excellent movie with some truly spine-tingling sequences that will elicit horror, excitement, and awe. Plus, its real-world influence on anti-establishment movements can't be overstated. It's certainly a movie that won't soon be forgotten. Here's you. All of us. Number nine, Thor Ragnarok. Father. Oh shit. Uh, my son Thor has returned the movie after the death in of the his list father with and the best return of the goddess of death in Asgard. God of Thunder Thor must <laughs> Not find his way back from exile a lot to protect his home. Thor showed, Ragnarok but this one... is a marked departure from its predecessors in the best way, featuring uh. much more action and humor than past installments. Although some fans and critics felt that the humor verged on being excessive. No. Why you hate Create so low There's hate. no denying that this film was a blast start Some to finish, exactly. featuring a bright aesthetic and beautifully realized locales that feel like they're lifted straight out of the comics. Exactly. Thor Ragnarok is like a raging just remember fire the, the snake eyes, joke. Or a smoldering one. The metaphor isn't super clear, but it's great. Yes! I have to get off this planet. Number eight, Superman, Superman. the movie. The granddaddy of the modern superhero film. Superman the movie has all the hallmarks of the genre that it helped popularize. A lot of things in this movie inspire a lot of great movies, but... Excuse me. Origin story, check. Love interest who's in need of a rescue, but can also match wits with the hero, check. Villain who occasionally upstages the protagonist with how entertaining they are, check. Although the movie can feel a bit dated and cheesy at times, that's part of its charm. Exactly what it's well about the to charm say. of its wholesome hero. Bye, Frisky. Long now. Save a cat out of a tree. Classic. Bye. Clark Kent may be the Man of Steel, but it's his forthright and kind nature oh, yeah. that inspires us, when and this helps Superman remain one of the greatest around the Earth. movies <laughs> ever made. It doesn't really age that great, but it was. A very Number nostalgic Spider-Man 2. Don't get us wrong, the original Sam Raimi Spider-Man is a great film in its own right. <laughs> but if we're talking about the best comic book movies, Spider-Man 2 is undeniably more deserving of the spot. In this beloved sequel, Peter Parker wrestles with his dual identity as Spider-Man and also faces off against a lot of movies Dr. I need to rewatch after man this video. He once admired. You've stuck your webs in my business for the last time. The practicalness and the, the effects the exploration working together in the CG the is best just in the amazing. Franchise. And the film's action sequences are not just spectacular, they're also some of the most iconic in all superhero cinema. Oh, and who could forget the memes? Pizza time. Number six, Iron Man. The film that launched the Marvel Cinematic Universe is one of the all-time greats. The story of Tony Stark's redemption from selfish weapons manufacturer to a slightly less selfish superhero <laughs> may feel familiar now, but that's only because this film made such a colossal impact. Probably watched Iron Man so much in my current existence. Driven by Robert Downey Jr.'s pitch-perfect performance as Tony Stark, Iron Man has a swagger and confidence that's hard to match. The action is simply marvelous. 
marvelous. I see what you did there. Slick with it. Done did it. Then there's the excellent dialogue, which makes it almost impossible to believe that the script wasn't finished at the time of shooting. That's right, they improved their way to one of the best comic book movies ever made. Truth is, we're the Nolan movies. I am, I am Iron, Iron Man. Number five, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. This is number one on my list. Number one. You hear As great as number the spectacle one. and emotional conflict of Captain America's Civil War is, its predecessor is even better. The second Captain America solo film follows Steve Rogers as he tries to unravel a conspiracy inside of S.H.I.E.L.D. while also Fight combating me. a menacing number assassin, one. both of which have ties to his past. <laughs> A deft blend of superhero movie and espionage action film, Captain America The Winter Soldier has timely themes, a great ensemble cast led how by much Chris I've Evans, and this some movie. truly exceptional fight scenes and set pieces that still make our jaws drop, Russo even brothers. after multiple viewings. You know me. No, I don't! Number four, Logan. Logan. This Western-inspired X-Men movie follows an older and embittered Wolverine as he's pulled into one Would last I say it's adventure. Than After soldier? encountering a young girl pursued by a sinister in the context of it, Logan makes it his personal his mission to get movie. her to safety. Not okay. Not even then. <laughs> Sorry. Bleak, uncompromising, and yet oddly hopeful, Logan is a violent and tragic film that not only pulses with action, but hits you right in the feels with some of the saddest moments of any comic book movie. I gave True. you family. They're gone now. In a genre so rife with origin stories, Logan oh, manages man, to be so to impactful so by much showing of how this. the heroes end. While the result isn't always easy to watch, it's definitely worth it. And it is better this way. He yeah, suck at this. Jack Number three, Man. Spider Man into Jack the Spider Verse. The, Man and Sam the only under. animated movie to make our list. Spider Man into the Spider Verse is an outlier in more ways than one. Hey. Amazing movie. Okay, then. No doubt about uh, it. I bet it I'll was a soldier, now. though. Oh. Number one, Steve. fight me. Hey. Uh. This film takes the familiar story of Spider-Man and turns it upside down, inside out, expertly parodies it, and celebrates it all at the same time. I'm a comic book, I'm a serial, did a Christmas album, I have an excellent theme song. Spider-Man. And uh, a so-so pops. <laughs> Watching Miles Morales learn to become a new kind of wall-crawling hero along with the other Spider-People he encounters is an absolute treat it's that surprises Oscar winning. and delights throughout. So you know, it's undeniable. The Academy couldn't even say shit about it. That's new. <laughs> and did we mention how freaking gorgeous the movie is? If any film captures the True. essence of comic book art and translates it to the big screen, it's this one. And it's a no on the cape. I think it's cool. Take that off. It's disrespectful. <laughs> Spider-Man doesn't wear a cape. Number two, Avengers Endgame. Again, amazing. In the context there were of it being the end Avengers movies of we considered for this the Infinity list, Saga, the original Avengers raised the stakes still for the whole MCU with its unprecedented crossover. <laughs> I'm sure you're then tired Infinity of this. I'm sure you sissed off this video bigger, by now. On more frightening scale. But Endgame is the best of the best in our view. The conclusion and climax of the first 22 like movies Infinity in the cinematic War, universe, Avengers Endgame, Endgame managed a daunting movie, task masterfully, while also being a poignant action back and hilarious But it's two throughout. separate movies, so... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we laugh, we cry, and we cheer, no matter how many times we watch it. Avengers! Assemble. Assemble. Before we get to our top pick, here's a few comic book page turners who deserve some honorable mention. A History of Violence. You don't know it. Tell me. That's what we do now. Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Didn't you know? Todd's vegan. Hellboy. The first one, I thought they were playing the recent one. The death of Stalin. I need a Don't know it. I need a wash. Well, we didn't drop him. Well done, us. Dread. How do you want it, kids? I haven't actually watched this. Trade bags or juve cubes? 
Makes no difference to me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. And it's filmed in South Africa. to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, The Dark Knight. With Endgame at number two, there's only one film that could take our top spot. As great as the other parts Four. of Christopher Nolan's trilogy are, like I said, Batman my list begins is massively Dark different, rises. but I can, can respect this. Measure up to the Dark Knight. I can respect no one this cared who I was till I put on the mask. After all, the whole trilogy Nobody is named after you. Are. You look nervous. So is it the scars? I want to know how I got these well, scars. Got what more can we say about this film that hasn't been said already? The Dark Knight is a battle between Batman and the Joker for the very soul of Gotham City. I took Gotham's white knight and I brought him down to our level. Practically every scene in line of dialogue mm. has left a mark on pop culture. I mean, culture. like, I really It's not just one of the best comic book movies, movies ever made. It might be one of the best movies, period. I'll give you that. Where you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip <laughs> Weird enough, the older I get, the sure more I don't mess and ring with the bell to be notified about our latest videos. It's iconic, videos. but... Some... Some of the voices are, are great, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is a long outro. That was a great video. I'm not gonna share my list, because mine was strictly superhero. It was superhero. Maybe I'll make a separate comic book one later, way later. I gotta rewatch a lot of stuff. But tell me what you guys think. If you have your list on comic book movies, even superhero movies, let's just share it in the comment section. Tell me if you guys wanna see my list and I'll put it as a pin top to comment and share it, and share it like that. And anyway, tell me what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button if you like my reaction. Deuces. With the soldier for the win.